Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are testing the Renault Zoe, an electric car. So of course that means range test. So we're going to do a range test, but we're going to have a little spin on the premise. I don't know if you remember when the Zoe was released, this model, they had an advert where it said the car will last longer than you. And it's basically that you will need to pee before the car runs out of range. So guess what we're doing? I have my sealed bottle of water here and I will drink all of this and we'll see who lasts longer. I'm not feeling very confident. I wouldn't have a very strong bladder. So we'll head out for a spin and we'll kind of vary it up between motorway, B roads, town, just to give the car a good test, but also put it in situations that suit it to obviously the slower speeds and around town. Suits the electric stuff really well, but motorway, not so much. So we're gonna start on the motorway, head to Minute, and then we'll decide from there where to go next. The max range of this Zoe is quoted at 395 kilometers. At the minute, we have a 94% charge and 262 kilometers of range. We just hit the limit of 94% on the charger and it wouldn't give us any more. So we'll work with that. And if it needs 6% more to beat me, we'll put more in. Put more in, put more electricity in. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, open. See, sealed and drink. As this is a road trip, we have some road trip snacks and I'm gonna do a practicality test now and just fill stuff up everywhere. One last bit. Not feeling very confident. Need to pee already. All right, let's go. So you join us on the first stint of our journey and we are doing a bit of a motorway stint. Uh, 40 kilometers from Kinigad to Maynooth and we are currently sitting at 120 kilometers an hour. So not what suits an electric car at all. You can just watch it deplete as you go. One thing, it is very windy and quite noisy in here at this speed. So yeah, not an electric car's favorite place. Now, when we get to Minute, it'll start to claw back certain advantages over me and my dodgy bladder. But for now, I'm feeling confident. So range at the minute is sitting at 87% and 231 kilometers of range left. So we've depleted four, two, two, one, zero. 7% so far. So we've reached our first destination and I don't need to pee yet. <laughs> I'm winning. The battery is on 79% with 215 kilometers of range left. So not bad, not bad. I'm feeling confident. So just a quick one about this particular interior setup. We're in the top of the line GT line 135. So you have nice things like sat nav, leather steering wheel, leather seats. I think they're an extra of like 1200 euro. Don't know if I'd be racing to get them. Plus they're also heated, which in an electric car just seems to defeat the purpose. So avoid the leather seats, get fabric, no heated seats. No one's allowed to use heated seats in electric cars, bad idea. I do like the portrait infotainment setup here. Not everyone does like it. Other than that, there is one little creek somewhere and it's driving me mad. And it's obviously a bit more pronounced because of the silence of electric, but maybe something to keep in mind if you're thinking of going electric, that creeks do appear and they are just louder because they're not muffled by engine noise. We also have a nice display up here in front of the driver and you can have your sat nav built into it, which is very handy when you're going places like we are today. So the next stop is about 20 kilometers away and it's called Kill because it's a funny name and we're going to go there. And then we're going to go on to Blessington because there's a nice lake, even though that is a stupid idea for someone who really needs to pee. So the price of the Zoe starts at about 27,000 euro. That's after your grants. And today's car is in around 35. So that's what we're dealing with. Keep that in mind. Right, onwards to Kill. <laughs> So 
So we are sitting in boring town traffic here in Maynooth and this is where electric cars make so much sense. You just nip in and out of gaps. It's lovely and small, the Zoe. You're not burning any fuel. The battery's happy. We haven't used any more range actually. Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, sorry, didn't need that at all. Now I piss myself. <laughs> So we're on some nice B roads now, and I'm sure you can tell just by looking at the Zoe that it is not a sporty drive. It's as high as it is wide, and it's got really thin tires. So when you are pushing on a bit, you can feel the grip kind of dancing around the place, and it's not very happy on those skinny little tires. The good side is it's electric, so you've got instant torque, and it's pretty decent. It's 245 Newton meters and it does do like, deal with like overtake stuff quite well. Gets up and moving without any real issue. So we are driving the 135 horsepower version. Not to 100 kilometers an hour takes under 10 seconds, which is pretty decent. There's also a 110 horsepower version, less powered if that's what you're after. One thing to keep in mind is when you turn the car on, it defaults to eco mode, so reduced power. So your top speed is limited to, I think, about 100 kilometers an hour, which I found out the hard way on the motorway the other day. I was going to overtake a truck, stuck at 100, and I was like, oh crap, what the hell do I do here? So you have to turn eco off, and then you get the extra bit of power, and it will then go to 120 kilometers an hour. Now there is also B mode, which is selected down on the gear stick here and that increases regen on the brakes so you will feel them a bit more as you lift off the accelerator pedal it'll feel like you're pressing the brakes and you'll get a bit of extra regen on that battery so we're at our next destination kill and we have 203 kilometers left 73 percent battery and my confidence is fading fast we're off to blessington 16 kilometers away next stop So we're in Blessington and I really need to pee. If I can get to 100 kilometers of range left and I haven't peed, I'll be very happy. But uh, we'll keep going, we'll keep driving and I'll keep hanging on. The belt just sits right across your bladder. <laughs> Doesn't help. Right, so the range is actually going up. Great, great. It's gone from when we left Blessington uh, 177 and now we're at 180. So. If you do driving below 80 kilometers an hour, you are golden in an electric car. Oh, the bumps. Right, so we are leaving, oh, there's another ramp. So we're leaving Clane, and I found a really straight road from Clane to Lully Moor. And that's what we're doing, because if, if I keep it straight, and no bends, and less bumps, hopefully, my bladder will not explode. This is such a stupid idea. So we've hit a little milestone. We've 50% battery left and 152 kilometers of range. So that translates at about 300 kilometers from the full battery. Not quite the 395 as promised for your max range, but considering it's winter and today has been between seven and 13 degrees at the minute, it's not bad, it's a decent range. Right, sit rep. We have 40% battery left, 126 kilometers, and I'm a broken man. That's it, I think I'm done. We need to find somewhere to pull in, and I need to be. I don't care. I don't care. I'm so relieved and so happy. Oh God. Right, so the final numbers are, I survived to 39% battery and 124 kilometers. So well done, you win. It's an impressive feat by me because I have a very small bladder. Right, we'll go back to charging and we'll try and summarize. The 
great car. I've really enjoyed my time with it. Surprised with the range, it's very good, and especially if you do the style of driving. Below 80 kilometers an hour seems to really suit it. Anything over 80, and you do eat into that range pretty quick. So keep in mind, we did do a lot of that driving after our motorway stint at the start to really suit this car, and it seems to have worked. If you would like to look for a Zoe on carsireland.ie, please do click on the link above. Quick word on charging before we finish. So if you buy the home charging wall box and charge at seven kilowatt hours, the Zoe will charge from zero to 100 in nine hours. This one has rapid charging, so 50 kilowatt direct charging, I think is what it's called. And that will do zero to 100 in an hour and a half. So handy and very quick and good out on motorway style settings. Also, look at the roof, it's really cool. It's got like a USB symbol embossed into it. Very cool and electric, because you know, lines and squares are electric. Right, we've solved the great problem there and we leave it at that. And hopefully we'll see you again next week for another video. Thanks, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you again next week. Bye bye.